Unbelievable. Back. The king is here. Yes. It's so nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Oh my gosh. What is the origin of you becoming a Michael Jackson impersonator? Well, I've been doing this professionally for the last five years, and I recently made a video if Michael Jackson made trap music, which allowed me to get the opportunity to be, to be, to be a part of the Invincible show by, by Darren Ross. Now, Michael is actually your government name. Uh, no. No? <laughs> That's my stage name, Michael Trapson. Okay, Michael yeah. Trapson. Well, <laughs> welcome then, the king. So, five years, the man has been dead longer than you've been impersonating. What inspired you to do it? Well, I've always been a Michael Jackson fan, but, um, I think when he did die, it, it gave me the passion to want to, you know, celebrate his life and celebrate his legacy in my own way. I do it through trap music. But I'm here, but I got the opportunity yeah. to be a part of the um, Invincible show. Phenomenal, thank you. June 11th. <laughs> June 11th. June 11th, absolutely. That was just a little bit of what Michael Jackson fans will see on June 11th at New Jersey Performing Arts Center here to tell us how this all came to be as the creator, producer, and director of Invincible, a glorious tribute to Michael Jackson, Darren Ross. Welcome. And with him is the show's musical director, but we're gonna meet them right after this. Thing. That was just a little bit of what Michael Jackson fans will see on June 11th at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. Here to tell us how all this came to be is the creator, producer, and director of Invincible, a glorious tribute to Michael Jackson, Darren Ross. Welcome to BK Live. Thank you very much Thank for being for here, having Darren. Us. Thank you for having well, us. Along with Darren is the music director of the show. That's Ugly Brain, whom his mother calls Daron Lev. Thanks for being here, Daron. And we're also happy to welcome Spaz Donovan. The Spats. Spats. Ta da! He knows his name. Hiya, hiya. He's a master showman. Welcome, Yowza. Spats. Yowza. Thanks hey, for being thanks. here. Hey, thanks. Nice to be here. Get in there. Darren, <laughs> when did you decide to put this whole tribute together? How did it come about? Well, I've always been a lover of Michael Jackson, his music, his videos. But once he passed in 2009, 
a friend of mine came together and we said, let's, let's do a tribute show. And we put together a tribute show uh, that I felt would be the best one. I watched all the other tribute shows and I said, I wouldn't mind to be fantabulous, extravagant. I, I searched the world for the best impersonators. My musical director who I worked with for years, Mr. Darone Lev, uh, anointed as beatbox extraordinaire, Jeffrey Perez, who is the world's most sound alike Michael Jackson impersonator I know, and Pete Carter, who is, he's in a lot of the magazines as Michael Jackson. It'll actually say this Michael Jackson sighting, it's Pete Carter. And we came together and we put together the show and it's been going on, this is the seventh season premiere and we're doing it June 11th. But the fascinating thing about this is they've allowed me, can you, can you believe this, to do a whole Michael Jackson celebrate his legacy day. All day. So we're gonna have things for the kids, we're gonna have contests, dance and dress, we're gonna have workshops. Michael Trapson, who you just saw, he has a song, Michael Trapson has actually taken the Michael Jackson legacy to the next level and done it with trap yeah, music. Yeah. He has a viral video called Billie Jean and I, I Dab, which you guys can check out. But he's gonna teach the dab and also the moves, and then we're gonna culminate the whole evening with the seventh season premiere of Invincible. All in one day, June 11th at NJ Pack. So, Spats, you're a master showman, and you're the musical director over here. Yep. When Michael was getting ready to perform, our uh, producer was like, I want to call my mother. Like, she was all excited. What do you think it is about Michael Jackson that continues to endure through your professional lens even? Not just as fans, but as professionals. Well, Why do you think the legacy is still so apparent? His career and his body of work is unlike any other American artist because when he was young, came up in the Motown with definite influence from everyone from Charlie Chaplin to James Brown, and he made the transition seamlessly and even led the way through every trend in music. Mm -hmm. And his message was always love and you know and uh, peace and breaking down barriers right. between people. And I think that echoes still with all the young people who hear his music to the people who saw him live and want to see it again. Mm -hmm. And Spats, you had a personal interaction with Michael Jackson. Can you tell us about that and maybe how that led a little bit to his signature look? Sure, sure. <laughs> you know, I got to tell you, you know, I, I worked at a place called Rosie O'Grady's Good Time Dixieland Jazz Emporium, part of Church Street Station, which was uh, down in Orlando, Florida, two whole city blocks authentically antiquated to the turn of the century, Ga gas light, uh, lights and, 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 you know, cobblestone streets and horse-ridden carriages and red-hot mama and can-can oh can girls and eight-piece band and the band would slide down the, the pole onto a gazebo stage and, and I would do my thing. Yeah, my, yeah. my act was kind of like Sammy, you mm -hmm. know, with a little bit of Jackie Wilson. And my manager managed Jackie. So Michael would love to come to Orlando because he loved going to Disney World. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> he was into, like you said, fancifulness and lightness, and, and he loved to love. And that's my philosophy, love to love, hate to hate. I get this knocking on my dressing room door. He says, um, one of the waiters, come on downstairs, Michael Jackson's waiting to see you. So I went down there after two or three times because I didn't believe him. <laughs> so I went downstairs and went and had dinner with, uh, with Michael. And uh, he says, oh, uh, he's like almost like Mickey Mouse. His, his voice was so high. He's, he says, Mr. Donovan, I said, call me Spats. He says, Spats, he says, who were your favorite influences? Well, I said, Sammy Davis Jr., uh, Jackie Wilson, Fred Astaire, uh, Bing Crosby, Louis Armstrong. And, uh, you know, and he says, Oh, those were mine too, you know? There you go. He says, oh, it was like immediately we, we connected. And the, then the bottom line was he says, he says, why do you wear white gloves and white spats when you perform? I said, well, I come from four generations of American show business, going way back to vaudeville in New York. My mm -hmm. great grandparents knew George M. Cohan, right? So I, I said, in the old days, and during the time of Thomas Edison, you know, I mean, uh, before he invented the electric light bulb, you had to be seen to, in the back of the theater, yeah. right? So I said the most prevalent things that you had to be aware of was your around your mouth, white, around the eyes, hands, and feet. Those are some of the most prevalent things. And Michael's face went, oh, like just, oh my God. I said, what are you doing tomorrow? He says, well, I'm going to Disney World. Yes, I, yes, you are, but you're going to fly there like Peter Pan. What? He, sa he says, what do you mean? I go, well, Michael, I I'm going to take you on a, on, on a 
early morning breakfast, and we're going to get into a, a, a gondola, and we're going to rise above the ground, and we're going to float across Disney World. He says, <laughs> he says, are you crazy? I said, yes, so come along with me. He says, oh, I'm, that sounds like fun. So I said, break it down. We got to get there when the heat rises. So we got in the gondola. We're flying over Disney, and, and just as the employees are just entering, you know, and he's like, looking over, and his, his mouth, you know, just dropped. And he couldn't believe it. And then we were, he says, you want to go tree topping? <laughs> so that meant we are going to pick pine cones off the tops of trees. Mm -hmm. and, we're, we're, and we're throwing the, the pine cones down, down on golfers. How does on all golf this course. relate back to his one glove? <laughs> well, he it's says to me thing. while we're in, in the air, he says, he says, tell me the story about, uh, you know, uh, the, about the white spats. And I, I told him again. So at the end, after we had gone through this amazing journey, and he says, Spats, he says, I want to stay friends with you forever. He gives me his phone number that only four people had. Yeah. And I kept in touch with him. And he says, you're my personal play, play friend. Because he says, I never had uh, any childhood. My, my father right. was always kind of mean, you know. So I said, so I he says, this is the most miraculous, fun day, uh, uh, you know, in my whole life. He says, awesome. He says, tell me about, I said, yeah, I, I said, the white glove, the you white spats. You are an episode unto yourself. <laughs> we only have three more minutes, and I have so many questions. So, Spats, you yes, be my sir. personal friend when these lights go off. And I you know. Tell well, me promise story. me you won't behave yourself. I'll give you my <laughs> number. Everybody has This it. is the man. But, we yeah. got to go see the show. Tell it's us amazing. about the choreography because the in, the showmanship is one thing, but the dance, you can't separate Michael from the movement. Well, to do the choreography, you have to think, I had to bring the big guns in. The mm -hmm. big guns is the guy that was with him from the bad tour all the way throughout. His Spats? Life. No, no it's, <laughs> it's that guy, Lavelle Smith <laughs> Jr. Okay. He was with Michael Jackson as his principal dancer and choreographer for over 23 years. He created a lot of the oh, works yeah. we do on this show. Mm -hmm. Scream, Goes, Dangerous, he's done it. He's also our historian and our mentor. So yeah. we brought him in, he came aboard, he loved what we were doing, and he just took it to the next level. And he's worked with this woman as yes, well. Yes, he's worked he with Beyonce. With Janet, yes. more importantly. Yes. So I wanted to <laughs> He did that video, you, yes. Not mad at that, Don. So <laughs> we have Michael Trapps in here, and we know that trap music was something that wasn't in our minds when Michael left. But yeah. what do you think he would be doing musically? He was always he, at the front and pushing things. Where would he be now? Always be on, right on the cutting edge. Because if you listen to his last record, it was already going in that direction. And you can hear a lot of hooks from artists today <coughs> that sound like his last album, kind of, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Michael Jackson was always, at first, consummate musician, unrivaled vocalist, worked with the best from Nile Rodgers to Quincy to everyone. Yeah, right. So his... his uh, finger was always on the pulse of what's happening now in music. Real sick. Yeah. Real, real quick, in 10 seconds, just to, to tell us where, uh, more info about the show again. The when show and where is, is uh, June 11th, NJ Pack, Newark, New Jersey. It's a Celebrate Michael Jackson Day. You can go to njpack.org to get more information and to purchase tickets. If you love his music, you love his videos, you're not going to see it. The number one MJ tribute show in the world, personally endorsed by Joe Jackson himself, will be there live. Absolutely. Oh, that's great. You're going to have no shortage of fans Wonderful. there. And now, as we promised, we've got some fantastic beatbox in here. Take it away, guys. Anoint that S S S the wrong love 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 love. Know we're bad, so y'all beware. And if you're looking for a thriller, then I'll be there. Uh huh. King of pop and the rep is tough. Uh, but don't stop till you get enough. Yeah. Who made you wanna dance all night? And it really didn't matter if you black or white. Remember the time, remember who taught you the ways of the smooth criminal moonwalker. You never seen this kind of action live. Easy as ABC, the Jackson 5. Uh, killing the scene with the Billy Jean dancing machine. You had us glued to the TV screen. You better say, say, say what you mean. I want to rock with you. We're going to make them scream. But every show in the world rock them all. Pop, soul, hip hop, rock and roll. We all the world. Yeah, you know what's going on. Yeah, they gave me the mic. They told me to heat it up. Here we all live, Brooklyn. Brooklyn at Bricks Media, me and Anointed S, the MJ Rap. Come and see us June 11 at NJ Pack. Peace. Yo. Yo. Yes. That was great. Woo.
Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. So get out uh, June 11th, of course, at the NJ Pack for Invincible. Celebrate Michael Jackson. Celebrate day. Michael Absolutely. Jackson. It's not day. A, a concert. Yeah. It's a day to celebrate the life and legacy of the King of Pop himself, Michael Joseph All right, Jackson. Duran Spatz. Be there or be square. That's Absolutely. Right. Man, is, this is an event of a lifetime. Right. You will just come out of it. You, you'll walk out of the theater after watching the show, like and you'll forget it. where you parked your car. <laughs> and I'm sure there'll be no shortage of fans there. Thank you guys for being on BK Thanks Live. Thank you for watching, everybody.